three, one. Is your child counting up every time she sees a quantity? Do you want to teach them to know how many there are without counting? Nine, eight, seven, seven, five, eight. In this video, we are going to take a peek into how my kids comprehend their numbers. Let me show you how we do it. Hi, I'm Leanne, teacher turned stay-at-home mom. And on this channel, I do parenting, education, and game tip videos. I've taught kids for almost 20 years and I want to share some of the things I've learned along the way that could help you. Hey guys, it's uh, Chinese New Year here today and I'm at the Chongkono Velodrome Park with my family enjoying the lovely weather here this morning. So this happened after I shot today's, uh, this week's video. We hit 100 subscribers. I want to shout out to Candy for being the 100th subscriber. Woohoo! Uh, also, Sharon, who has been commenting every video. Wow! Thanks to everyone for getting us here. Every single view, every single like, every single comment, every subscriber is going to make a difference to my 1,000 subscriber goal. Now, in other news, we had a mic problem when we were recording this week's video. The mic ended up rubbing against the vest that I was wearing. So I apologize in advance. I hope you find, still find all the useful tips and tricks. And um, let's keep watching and have a happy new year. If this is the first time we meet, I'm so glad you could join us. If you want to follow us on our learning journey, go ahead and click that subscribe button over there. This is the first in a series on our family's favorite mental math strategies that we use for math and for games. And on this video today, I'm going to share how we taught our kids to recognize quantities up to five, at a glance, without counting. I'll also share some games you can play to reinforce this and one of my favorite resources to teach this. So make sure you stay to the end. When we teach young kids about numbers, we are actually teaching them to recognize and visualize quantities. But counting one, two, three, four, five is slow. It doesn't actually help understand quantities. Instead, I teach my kids to subitize, subitize, subitize to know how many there are simply by looking. Counting has its place, but not when we are first teaching them about quantities. Numbers 1 to 3 are fairly straightforward, except to tell you not to count. It's okay if you've been counting so far, but remember, we are teaching them to recognize it at a glance. So, instead, we start with fingers. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Then try it again with ice cream sticks. This is one, this is two, and this is three. And another time, but now with dots. This is one, one. this is two, this is three. three. You and I may know this, but remember this is brand new to the kids. So make sure to stay with them a while on this. If this is their first time learning, let's move on to four. What is four? One more than three, which we've already learned. This is three, and this is four. And this is four, and this is four. By now, you're probably wondering what these cards I'm using are. So make sure to stay till the end so I can tell you more about why I love using them. Then there is five. Five is my favorite. Most kids will easily pick this up because it's their whole hand. This is four, so this is five. And check this out. This is five. And this is important because this will lead up to a multiplication. For example, which is easier to see? Six arranged neatly in a row or in tallies. You see, how laying a strong foundation in mental math will help your kid later on in multiplication? In just a second, I'm going to show you what games we played to help the girls remember this concept. But I want to pass the question off to you. How do you plan to or have been teaching your kids about numbers? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got an aha moment so far, click the like button. This is the beginning of number sense. In the next video in this series, I will show you how we teach numbers 6 to 10. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when it premieres. Now, let's start with practicing. First, some matching games. You want to demonstrate to give your kid some context as to what is expected of her. Show with your fingers any of the quantities we've talked about so far. I recommend 
focusing on numbers 1, 2, and 3 when you first begin. Have her do one of the following in these order. Follow you with her fingers, then with sticks, and then sometime later on, ask her to pick up corresponding dot cards from an array. Right, can you give to Destiny two? Thank you. Can you give me three? Thank you. We are moving on from a tangible manipulative that she can control to an abstract concept on paper. Another way is to make a pattern game out of these. These are great for teaching them to discern the difference quickly, especially the transition between three and four. You can make patterns with your fingers and have her continue them. Three, four, three, white comes next, four. Notice I am not introducing any numerals to the child at this time. We are solely focusing on naming these quantities. Numerals will come later. These tiny dot cards are available on Amazon. I love this set of cards because they come with quantities from 0 to 10 in 5 different suits. And they also come with game instruction cards. So there are many ways to use these cards for math learning. I highly recommend them because of how versatile these sets is. They are big, they are bright, and most importantly, they are sturdy enough for little hands. Both my girls love to lay them out in a grand arrangement and they would feel so accomplished. Especially after taking over my whole living room. You can check out the link to the tiny dot cards in the description notes below. Subitizing is a much faster way of doing math because we can see the whole quantity as well as the individual items at the same time. Whereas counting simply focuses on the number being counted. However, if your kids can already recognize these quantities, then they are ready to play some games. If you want some ideas for beginner card games that they can play, click a tap the YouTube card to see our math game playlist or the link to the playlist in the show notes below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Hit the like button if you've got a good few ideas you can use and I will see you in the next video.